What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com. And a couple of housekeeping items before we begin. First of all, I received some good feedback on the question I posted on the community tab yesterday about Madden 07, the current franchise. I'm definitely sticking with it. I just need to practice some more, which is why you're seeing the Murray State game today. So just give me a few more days. I'm going to practice some more of the Vision Cone and a couple other uh, features that are in that game, and I will post that Bengals game sometime during the week. I'm really liking what I'm seeing uh, so far in practice, and I can't wait to show some of that. But first, I want to practice a little more just just in case. It doesn't hurt to be prepared. Second thing is, I am going to add chapters or the timestamps. I've I done those several months ago on a couple of Dynasty videos, and I was posting per quarter. That way you could jump to each quarter if you needed to, but I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create timestamps, or they're called chapters in uh, YouTube language, is I'm going to highlight any big-time plays that are in a game. So for those who do not like watching all 60 minutes of my normal videos, you can use those chapters to uh, go to each big time play and you can get through the video quicker. Or you could just, it gives you a better way just to jump around a little bit if needed. So just be on the lookout for that. You'll notice on the progress bar at the bottom how it'll be chopped up in different segments. You can highlight over each one and it'll tell you what highlight it is. I'll probably just do highlight number one, two, three, so on and so forth. But I'm going to get in the habit of starting adding those to my Dynasty and Franchise videos. And I think it'll appease both types of viewers, the ones who don't mind watching the entire video and the other ones who just really want to see the big plays of a game. Okay, with that being said, let's get right into our first game of our Murray State Dynasty. In the previous video, we went through all of our preseason shenanigans. I walked you through the playbook, all that good stuff. And before we get into our first game, you've got to remember we're not going to do any in-season recruiting this year just because we're a one-star program and we can't recruit three stars yet. we got to wait till we are a two-star. One thing I did forget to do was set up my depth chart. I didn't do that in the video. I just kind of forgot. I've already done it here and we can walk through it. Well, I guess I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Either way. What I'm going to do, I've had some suggestions to start C.T. Eldridge over Nixon, so I wanted to show you that right now. We'll just go ahead and do that. Both of them are terrible. I don't care about the awareness because you are the awareness. Nixon has just barely a better arm, but Eldridge has a little better speed, just a tad bit more better mobility. Nothing great, though, so I don't know if this will help much. But we'll go ahead and start him, and if that doesn't work out, we'll just put in Nixon and keep going back and forth until one of them can uh, win the job. Either way, you got to admit, both of them are still really bad, so just keep that in mind. I, let me just go through the rest of these here really quick. I thought I already fixed these. I guess I didn't. I'm going to use formation subs a ton, so this dev chart doesn't mean a whole lot per se. Because, like, Galashaw or Corner is going to play a little wide receiver, just depending on the formation. I was just looking here. Like, I, I could put one of these tight ends. Like, Ansha Whitaker is 6'2", 220. Technically, he'd be a better tight end than Milton, but I, I just don't have to do that. Really don't want to anyways. Let me go through these really quick. Uh, there was one other thing. If, yes, I did fix it. Okay. Spieg was originally a starter, but he's 6'3", 220. I need bigger guys at defensive tackles. So my number two guy is Ronald Samuel at 6'1", 270. Then we got a guy 6'4", 315, and I thought I fixed that, and I didn't. So let me fix that. I'm glad I said something there. We're going to do... If I can do it. There we go. We're going to put Harris as our number two guy, and then Samuel, and then Spieg. Again, we want some size as much as we can in the interior. Let me just look here really quick. I think everything else is fine. My safeties look okay. And I thought I fixed my... Okay, I did fix at least some of these. For some, for some reason, I missed up on a couple. But as you can see here, we got Galashaw and Beggars. They are going to be my kick return and punt return guys. It just makes sense. We don't have anybody else to do it. 
And for whatever reason, Galashaw can't catch. I gotta remember, Biggers has a much better catch rating than Galashaw. So if Galashaw starts fumbling every now and then on special teams, I'll just switch this and definitely let Biggers be my starting punt returner at least. And I may, let's just go ahead and do that just for safe. I don't mind Galashaw being on the kick return just because you rarely see them fumble it or drop the catch or the, the kick on kickoff returns. So I think we're good there. So that is technically it. Let's go and look at who we're playing today. We're kicking off our dynasty and our season against one of our rivals, Western Kentucky. We bookended the season with Western Kentucky and the, our other rival, Eastern. I had to get them in there somewhere. And you can look here. Both of them are terrible. This is going to be the one few times this season where I can run my offense normally in terms of I don't have to use tempo a whole lot. I don't have to slow down the game unless things get really bad. As you can see here, both teams are bad. So it's an even matchup. Hopefully we can take care of business today. That is it. So let's just go ahead and take on Western. Now, an ideal scenario is if somebody gets in trouble, either today or the next game, because we need to lower that bar. And we're not going to beat Purdue. I'm, I'm not going to get my hopes up on that one. So that's like the perfect game to do that. Or Kentucky. Kentucky's going to be really tough. I really don't expect to beat them. So suspending somebody for two games would be like ideal. I hate to look at it that way, but we got to get that bar down somehow. Unfortunately, you can't force players to get in trouble. <laughs> okay, if somebody's in trouble. Now, hopefully it's nobody special. If it's somebody special, okay, Jamil Owens, he is a starter. He is a, yes, he is a starter. Let's see what he done. Owen skipped the mandatory team meeting today. We contact them. It's nothing great. But look at the instantly team interest. So what I want to do, like I said, we're going to go back and look at the schedule. I think I'm going to suspend him for three games because, again, we're probably not going to beat Purdue and we're probably not going to beat Kentucky. So I don't mind just benching him. Suspending him for three games should help. So let's go ahead and do that. Even though it's a minor offense, but you see the instantly team interest bar. Way too high. So we're going to go down to three, and we should be good to go. So i got to make that adjustment on the depth chart. And before we got to start the game, I need to fix the formation subs because we got to do a lot of stuff there. Thankfully, with the formation stuff, the subs, it's uh, it sticks from game to game, so you don't have to change that every single time. Plus, you don't have to deal with sub packages so much. The more you deal with formation subs, the less you have to deal with sub packages. Looks like they got a kicker out. That's weird. Must have got hurt. Okay, uh, let's get the ball second half. That's fine. Okay, let's go straight to formation subs while it's on my mind. Okay, our running back situation, we're going to just have them alternate. They're the exact same type of player. Odom's is a little bit better just because of the awareness, but they both can carry the ball just about the same and they can catch. So what I'm going to do is just swap them out. We're going to do lane here, and we'll do lane here, and that's fine. So four and five. That way both of them get plenty of reps without me having to switch them out manually. Okay. Now let's go very all the way back. I For this particular formation, I'm going to put Galashaw right here just for that option run play. I don't want him to catch the ball a ton because he still doesn't have a good catch rate. I mean, he can still catch it a little bit, but I really want him to be able to take off with it and run. So we got this trip, the wide receiver option play in this formation. I don't really need him here, and I don't want him playing every single down. I mean, he'll just get tired real easily, and I need him to play on defense a lot. I'm going to have him here just because we got an, uh, the wide receiver reverse. I don't need him there. I don't need him here. I don't need him here either. I will need him here for our wide receiver play. I'm pretty sure it's that one right there. What we can do, I actually don't need him here because I'm going to use my tight end sub package. This will be one of the few sub packages I'll use. And I actually don't mind Whitaker. He can at least catch a little bit. What I do need is I'm going to put Galashaw right here. And we're going to get Biggers. We're going to take him off and put him right here and then put in Whitaker. I want 
Whitaker and Bit or uh, Biggers and Galashaw beside each other because I got a handful of plays at a trip so far I want to use, and I need good quality bodies at both of those spots in order to make that work. So we took care of all that. I think that is all of it. The only sub, I'm just kind of looking here, the only sub packages I'm going to have to deal with, the only downside to this formation is I got to use the other tight end, which is terrible, but I, I'll work around that. I'm just looking here really quickly, see if I need to make any sub package type stuff. I think the only one I got to deal with is this one right here. So, okay, that's just a mental note. All right, I think we're done there. So let's go ahead to our depth chart and let's go check out our defensive end situation. We got, we are going to start o, uh, Owens, the other Owens. We got Jamil Owens and Jamil Owens. Okay, that is a glitch of some sort. We got two Jamils. Interesting. And they're both 94, so what am I... So whoever created this roster kind of goofed up here. And I don't know if they paid attention or not. We're going to play the other Jamil Owens. They gave them the exact same numbers and everything, which I don't know how he was able to do that. But I thought that was interesting. Somebody else can maybe point that out. But look, there's 94 Jamil Owens. Much smaller, 6 feet, 226. And here's the other guy, the one that we suspended. 6'5", 240, number 94. Makes no sense, but whatever, whatever. Okay, at least we got that set. Now let's go back to Western Kentucky and look at their stuff. Now, they got an impact quarterback, Justin Haddix. 76 overall, but he can't run, so we're going to try to blitz. I don't know how much we can do on defense because we don't have anybody to work with, but we'll figure it out. They got a 74 overall halfback. I'd love to have this kid. So their backfield is way better than ours. So if they're going to win, it's probably because of those two guys. Not a whole lot of wide receiver. Let's see. Nothing at tight end. Their offensive line's pretty bad. I don't know what type of defense they run. They only got three defensive tackles. They may be running a 3-4, but I'm not seeing anything special yet. They got an, an impact outside linebacker. Nothing at corner. Really good free safety. 80 overall for them, at least. And a terrible strong safety. And their kicker is out for two quarters. Okay, I thought he was injured. I guess he's suspended. Only for two quarters, though. And they got a decent punter, so... Okay, something to think about. Now, what we're going to do here on kickoffs pretty much all season is I just don't trust our defense here to uh, make a good play in the open field. So we're going to do a lot of high kicks. I think they're going to get a good field position, but I'm not going to take the chance of them making an easy play. So um, we're going to do a lot of nickel. That's our base, our best Set. Oh, I forgot one other thing. Let's go back. Completely forgot. We need to go to our formation subs on defense. We got to fix this. 48, we need to put dikes here. And we're good there. 65 speed. That's the only thing that worries me is nobody else can play that. So I guess we're stuck. But we got to have dikes right there. So we're going to be without... That guy for at least a game or a, a play. They're taking their sweet time. That's a good stop there. Whatever play that was, I wasn't really paying attention. I was focused on what I was doing. I'm going to stay in quarters for now. I want to keep everything in front of me. That's kind of my thinking on defense. Let them get down the field. It takes them forever. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Dang it. I'm playing Mano 07. <laughs> Either way, we got to stop. So here we can try Cloud. And here's our other Jamil Owens. Love to get a stop here. He's got all day to throw. And a drop. We'll take it. He got hit when he tried to catch it, too. Okay, we'll take it. 
let's get the ball. Let's get on offense and see if we can do something here. Now, we got to get this win today. We're not going to get many wins this season. So we got to take care of business against our two rivals. Let's see if Biggers can do something here. That was a good hit. So, what we can do, we can start here. Let's do basic slam. Now, I have, I can show you this. They're going zone. Uh, I can show you my audibles. I'm going to be using audibles quite a bit when I can. A lot of them are man beaters, like just PA scene, for example. Your tight end can get wide open over the top, just depending on the defense. PA flat choice, I'm going to use this a lot against man as well. My tight end can get open. Then you got slot reverse out of I-Twins. That's my... It's, it's really good against man, not so much against zone. So a lot of this stuff are just strictly man beater type of things. Like here's the wide receiver option out of wide trips. Halfback streak, I technically should have went with something else there. Let's fix that. That's good against either one. Let me go to this one instead. I should, I'll try to do... I got to fix this outside of this game. We're going to go with flood. That's a, a better man beater. We'll do that. All right, they're going zone. Not a whole lot of shifting. Just get a, uh, and a fumble out of the gate, but we get a first down somehow. Okay. It's not what we want to see out of the gate with a fumble. Let's go. Uh, I do need to... Yes, I got another formation sub. I'm glad I saw this. This one right here, I need... To put, I need Galashaw. No, I need, let's just do Sanders here for now. I got to put Biggers right there. That's what we got to do. Okay. We're going to do that. There's just some plays in here that work a little bit better with a guy in the slot right there. So they're going zone here. We're just going to run a toss play with Lane. I'm going to leave it as is. It's not a whole lot there. Let's see. We can go back here. We can flip it. I don't mind. I don't mind flipping on the run plays. I just don't have to do it for the pass ones. We're going zone 4-3. Now here, I may just take a chance to go to the right. And it's just, yeah, nothing was open there. And now it's... Third and seven. We are going to go with... We'll do half back and... We'll do half back circle. We're going zone. Don't know if this will work out well. What I may do is... I may call a timeout. I can use them. I'm okay with that. This may be two down territory for me, so let's just do that. I'm going to wait. We're going to stay here. See if we can get something out of RBD. We're going zone, so we're going to go to our tight end. And almost intercepted. So we'll go ahead and we'll punt it. And I could have done the sky punt. I didn't think about that. That's okay. I can do it from here. And this is a terrible, please be high enough for it's, here we go. Just a terrible punt. But he didn't return it, that's all that matters. So, they're going one wide. We're going to go with a one high. I'm going to stick with my same principles on defense but we're just bad players, so... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's a terrible play, but what do you do, you know? We'll get back. Uh, we can try a zone blitz and see if it works. I, I really don't have the speed. And that's just too easy of a run. Look at that. I mean, what do you what do you do? So okay. 
Not a good start. We'll try to get back on offense and try to get something going. I took a chance on the zone blitz just because their impact quarterback is indeed an impact guy compared to their running back. But if he's going to just bust three tackles, there's nothing you could do about that. Maybe we can get something going here. I don't mind trying with Biggers here. Just nothing there. Just don't fumble it. We can stay here. I'm going to try Slam one more time. They're running a ton of zone on me, so that's just something we're going to have to deal with today, I'm afraid. I don't think they've ran man once. It's good blocking here. Pick up the first. We're going to go here. It's like he's going to be our running back again on this one. Where's it at? We'll, we'll go with lead. Now they're going man. I forgot what my audibles. Let me check them. We go, uh, it's L1. So we can try that since they're going man. Problem is their two best players are on the left. And that's not good. And we can get something going with Galashaw. And just don't fumble it. That's good. Let's play there. Let's see. We can try to get our... Let's do a simple flat-out combo. They're going man, so we can try to give this to our tight end. For some, I don't know if Eldridge can make this throw. Eh, not bad. Didn't get much out of it, though. We can try basic dive from here. They're going man, and they're shifting really hard outward. So I'm going to leave it as is and probably just run up the gut. Just nothing there. We can try a toss. This is two down territory for me. We're going zone. I'll probably go to the right. It's a good blocking there. Pick up the first down. Now what we can do from here, let's go. We can try this play. I had it as an audible, but I really didn't need to. Let's go halfback streak and our going zone. So we'll just go to our little zone beater. Whitaker will be able to touch this one. Not a whole lot there. And what we can do is we'll go here. Let's do, I'm going to do another pass play. Where's it at? We're going to do tight end corner. We're going man. Now, here's what we're going to do. This is a really good man beater. I'm going to, this is going to go to lane if possible. There we go. I'm just going to get down. I'm not going to let that impact guy do any damage to me. So, it is what? We're on the five. We're going to nickel. I'm going to have to stay in this formation. The only, I may switch this out with the other one. Don't fumble it. The other ace big tight end play or formation. Just because it would be better on the goal line because I can get my fullback in at tight end. We'll just stick with the same play. I may do a toss later. We're going zone. I may have to do some... Just to go here. There we go. Six points. Good deal. All right. We tied it. Well, we got to kick an extra point first. My receivers and my tight end will get the ball a whole lot more when I start seeing a little more man. But they're playing a ton of zone, so you just you work with it. And I completely missed that. Maybe we looked at 
Okay, we tied it up. We'll get back on offense, or defense, sorry. I'm gonna jack this thing way up. We're gonna kick it high. I don't want them to return it, but it looks like they're going to. At least we stop them. Normally it's somebody who can't run the ball well, so. All right, we're gonna go quarters. I probably need to do some more nickel. I just completely forget to do that. It'll take me a while to get used to playing a lot of nickel. And at least we got to stop. Like they're going one wide receiver here. I almost feel compelled to do a one high from 4-3 just to match up with weight. Good play by them. We're going to try a zone blitz. Get back to nickel. Don't run to the left. And that's the chance I'm taking. I'm just... They're running the ball every time I blitz. I mean, I don't know what to do about that. So I'm going to try it one more time, though. They may run right up the gut again, but... And at least we got to him. I thought they went play action there. We're going to stay here and go back to quarters at a nickel. I'll control the way well, I'm used to controlling the left or this guy over here. He's not very good, but maybe we can. I think he got out of bounds. Third and ten is what I thought. All right, good deal. All right, we'll go. Cover three cloud. Maybe we can get to this guy. He's got all day to throw, and this is what worries me. Oh, good defense. Wow. It says he dropped it, but I thought the other guy done a pretty good job on the coverage there. So we're going to try this again. Fourth and ten, they're going for it. I can't blame them. Good defense. I was able to get to the quarterback pretty quickly, force him to throw it. Okay. We're in good shape here. Let's just get back to... I want to... This is the play I was wanting to try. Let's do PA inside. We're going zone, so we'll see what happens here. This may be a mistake, me trying to do this. And we're very fortunate I didn't get picked off. That just wasn't a very good throw. So with that being said, let's... Uh, oh, where do we go from here? Let's do a toss play. And again, they're just doing a ton of zone on me today. Ooh. I'm going to have to do this. No blocking whatsoever. I, just, I don't know what to do about that. Uh, third and 14. I'm going to go. I'm going to take a chance. We're going to go to that play that I, or if I can find it. There it is, PE scene. And they're going zone, as expected. That's all they're going to do today is just go zone on me. So what we're going to do is bring this guy over. Nice. Six points. All right, they went cover two. We can break this play down. That's what I was hoping for. You know, you see me run play action cover against cover two with a go route. And that safety, he's just too slow. So we're gonna, we can attack him as such. Ended up being six points. Good deal. So that's good to see Gashaw catching the ball a little bit. When in practice, he drops quite a bit as well. So I'm always hesitant to throw him the ball. All right, that gives us the lead. We can get back on defense and 
Try to stop him again. That's a big money shot type of play. It just it's all or nothing. We're gonna hack this thing up. I wish he would fair catch it, but at least he's not really gonna go anywhere with it. All right, we're gonna go quarters. They're going four wide, it appears. Good tackle there, Dax. Okay. Didn't know if he was going to make the tackle right or not. We're just going to stay in quarters. I don't know if the blitz is going to work much this year just because we don't have the speed to really do it. And, ooh, he didn't get the first. It was close, though. That's the play that I'm going to be using later on if they'll let me. It's a good play for the tight end against a lot of the coverages. Hopefully I can show that off later. Oh, he dropped it. Wow, we'll take it. That's a good hit by Galashaw. All right, good deal. Let's get the ball back. I'd like to see Stretcher lead. We got two and a half minutes left. Again, we're going up against an equally talented team, so I'm not really worried about slowing down clock or anything. You're gonna trust me, you're gonna see plenty of that for remaining of the season. Get a block right there. Thank you. And that's probably six points by Bickers. Good to see him get a touchdown. Hopefully there's no flag. And there isn't. Good deal. So every one of our big time players has really got to do something. Touch the ball in some form. Awesome. You can go back and look at the... And I called the timeout. Why did I call a timeout? I'm an idiot. So here's what I wanted to see. I was just curious. Yeah. None of them had a chance. They're all just way too slow. And yeah, good job, Al. I called the timeout. All right. Let's get, get an extra point. And we'll get back on defense. Hopefully on the next drive we can get it to our tight end a little bit. Somebody stop him. There we go. Impact guy. Got to hit him a couple times. So Williams is hurt with an elbow. I need to find out who he is because we're so thin everywhere. Let's go to injury report. He is our free. Is he our starting free safety? Please don't let that be him. My TV went out on me. Come on, let's go. All right, there we go. He's my backup. Still, you don't want to see it. So my starter needs to stay healthy until we figure out if this guy's not going to be injured for too long. I'm going to try another zone blitz. If this doesn't really work, I may need just to quit that altogether, at least for today. You got to do it like this. That's the only downside to doing it from nickel. And he still catches that somehow. Galshaw with a good hit. You can look at this here. Boom! Galshaw's a stud ball player. And I went with the wrong play. I think it's... I pressed the wrong one. And I don't have my defensive audible set up either. We'll do cover two, man. And I really goofed up here. That's a good stop there. Flag face mask. Five yarders? Yeah, five yards. Do quarters. Let's stay in. That's just, what do you do? You know, 
It's a good play. They got a decent little quarterback. I'm going to stay in quarters. Again, keep my best 11 players out there, which is my nickel. We're going counter. And, uh-oh. That was a crazy play. Let's stick with quarters. All the world to catch it. Way too much space. But it is what it is, you know. I don't, it's, it's all you can do. And they're going with the one high. I don't remember them going one wide receiver. I thought it said something else. He's already got 96 yards rushing. Going four wide. Ooh, I'm just, we'll just do quarter steal. I'd like for him to throw in my direction. He's playing a smart. He's not going over there. And they got a guy hurt. Into his chest. That's probably not too serious of an injury. And now they're going with the goal line formation. Power or whatever. I'm sure they got a... They're going power T jumbo or whatever it's called. Power T tight maybe. Intercepted by you know who. Jeez, Galashaw, he's all over the place. Oh, oh, come on. Was that on me? Oh, you got to be kidding. Oh, that's all time terrible. Oh, that's such a big play. That's bad. I had to go back and look at that. Was that am I Dax? Is that who I am? I don't even know who I'm controlling. No, I'm Turner. Okay, no wonder I couldn't figure that out. Okay, I was confused. All right, let's do it. They're about to score, so let's do an all-out blitz, and maybe that'll get their attention a little bit. Bad throw. I'm going to go here. We're going to do that monster, too. Where's it at? I know it's in here somewhere. There it is. Monster, too. Don't run up the middle. And we get a sack. Good deal. They went play action. That helps. And the clock is still going. They got plenty of time. Ooh, they're sticking with the same thing. Ooh, they're going with that play. I swear. You got to be kidding. Wow. What do you do about that? Who would have thought they would go basic option on that? That's just a random and a terrible tackle. Well, we get the ball star second half. We got 23 seconds. I don't know if we could do much with it. And we at least have the lead still. Let's see. We, we may be able to do some here with 23 seconds. Probably not a whole lot. I'm trying to think. Let's go. I'm going to go with the triple option. They'll probably go zone. They'll go with zone. That's what I figured. Let's just run it. I, you could kind of run the, this against zone. And there's nothing there. I'm going to go back to that PE scene. And they're going zone, so I'm not going to call it. If they went man, I would have took a shot, but it's not worth it. So we'll just let the clock run out. And we'll go to halftime. So far, I'm okay with it, other than, you know, our defense. They're just going to give up plays. We can't tackle worth a, a bang. So let's go stats and scores. Just pretty even ball game throughout. 
I thought CT threw the ball well enough. I mean, he's not 4-6. No turnovers. One of them should have been an interception. Now, I need Lane to run the ball a little bit more than Odoms, but I got, it looks like I got Odoms in my better run play or run formations. I don't know. We'll try to fix some of that. I may give the Lane first thing here. All right, I'll see if Bigger's going to do something with this. Oh, wow, what a... He may take this all away. Wow, all it takes is one broken tackle. We know how that feels with that last touchdown of theirs. Awesome. We're going to need as many of those as we can. You can go back and look at this. He actually busted the tackle off the impact guy. Who would have thought that? Look at that. It just knocked him out, man. Get off me, son. And he was off to the races. Wow. Special teams is going to be huge for us this season. So Biggers, the only time he's got to touch the ball is on a punt return and a kick return. Both went for six. We're going to kick this high. We don't want a good return. Don't want to return at all. Looks like he's going to attempt it. There we go. We'll go back to quarters at a nickel. Or nickel at a quarters. Or quarters at a nickel. Ha <laughs> oh, jeez. Been one of them days. Play action. Their quarterback's good. He's finding open receivers. They're doing... Uh, I hate to try this, but we'll go one high to four three. They're going with a bigger set. Fullback dive, first down. They got more first downs than we do. Let's just keep doing quarters. Eventually, he's going to throw in my direction. He's going to throw a pick. So far, he's done a good job of not doing that yet. And I completely blew that tackle. Went right by me. And look at that. They're going with a goal line set. But I can't go 4-4. Four, four. I don't have the middle linebackers to do it. So I'm just stuck with a 4-3. Good defense there by number two, whoever you are. I get to know your names eventually. They're on our 46, so if they don't convert this, I can see them just going for it on fourth. I'm taking a chance, and they're going with the wide receiver play. And I completely whiffed the tackle. Dang it. He just blew right by me. <laughs> Well, their run game is going to eat us alive today, I'm afraid. So it looks like we maybe have to run in some clock this second half. Keep it away from there because our defense is... It's just going to be challenged this year here for the next few years. Good tackle by Gallishaw. Ooh, their quarterback I've heard. I hope it's not serious. I hate for us to win because of that, but... Gallishaw's all over. All, all that quarterback had to do was pitch, and that was going to be six points. I gotta put a little more weight on the field. So let's do 4 3. We're probably gonna run this thing. I didn't think about that. There he goes. I just. And looks like they're gonna just run it out. You can't blame them. I'd give it to their running back about every play as well. I'm taking a chance. Don't want them. Come on. Come on. Come on. Jeez. Got hit eight times. Another big set. And their quarterback's coming back. Yeah. 
That quarter, I mean, that running back's going to have 200 yards if we're not careful. Let's do an all-out blitz here. So it's what, third and two? Third and, third and goal, technically. Third and three. See, I'd love to do this, but eh, let's just go ahead and try. Let's do a man log from goal line. Just never a big fan of using these, but. And touchdown. That's just what do you do, you know? They're going to score. So it looks like we're going to have to run some clock. Because our defense is not going to stop them today. We've done it a couple of times. It's usually when they run the ball is when we usually struggle. They, it's like they, I honestly think the game, the CPU kind of uh, adjusted a little bit. Said, hey, we're doing a pretty good job running the ball, so let's just keep doing it. So let's run some clock ourselves if we can. I'm just not going to return that one. Let's go here and. Do I got slam? I don't think slam. It's a blast. Let's just go with dive. Let's run the ball. Again, we're going zone. They're going to zone me to death. And they're doing that, so it's a pretty easy decision what to do here. Get about five yards there. We can try that again. We do have wide trips and see if they do any crazy shifting. Nothing exciting right there. Let's just run some clock. We'll shorten the game as best we can. Looks like we're going to be in a third down situation unless we get good blocking here. We're going to go right up the gut. That's one cool thing about this unbalanced set. You're going to run up the middle a whole lot more. Which I'm perfectly fine with. It's cool to see those gaps up the middle get open. All right, they're going man. We're going to try to get this to Biggers. I'm going to, just in case that other safety comes down, I'll, I'll try to go to St. Louis. That's what I'm going to start calling You can call him St. Louis or St. Louis, but either way. Doing that. And a terrible throw. Which is, that's what we're going to have with these quarterbacks. they just not going to make good throws. We got to punt it. We got no choice. I guess I could have threw it a little bit lighter, but I just don't trust it. The lighter you throw it, the better chance the defender has of uh, making a play. And that's a that's going to be on us. It's that's he got pushed into him. Yeah. So they just got another gift. Don't know what you could do about that. All right, I'm going to... We're going to take a chance to do his own blitz. Please do not run to the left. And their fullback goes right up the middle. I'm just uh, the perfect play call. I don't know what to do about that. And they're back to a bigger set. We got to get this win. If we don't win today, that's not good. We're just not going to have many chances. Oh, let's try it again. And it's going to be the end of the quarter. Well, that third quarter did not go well whatsoever. Nothing good happened. We're it's a we're very lucky to be only up a touchdown. Second and nine will go quarters. And I didn't mean to do that. Dang it. Don't run up the middle. And they're going to run to the, to the left. All right, third and four. Now, they, they got a terrible... And they're going to go with a big set, of course. Uh, they're going to go for it regardless. Regardless. 
triple option. He didn't get the first, I don't think. Fourth and inches. We're going to go with the goal line. I told you they was going to go for it. And he got it. I figure he would. We'll go back to quarters. Somebody needs to make a play on defense. And that's not the play we're wanting. Pick up an easy seven yards. We're going to go with an all-out blitz, I guess. I mean, they're about to score. And they run to the opposite side of the blitz, of course. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, what do you do about that? They're going to run to the opposite side of the blitz. All right, tie ball game. We just got to play smart on offense and try to convert. Our offense technically has not played well whatsoever. It's our special teams is what's kept us in it. Tie ball game. Got to run some clock if we can and get down the field and score a touchdown. Otherwise, we're going to get beat. Or Biggers can go back and take it for another six points. We got to have these in order to win, I'm afraid. No flag. Another one. Oh, jeez. He's going to break some records this year. Now, we're going up against a terrible team, so I don't expect him to have many of those this year. So, might as well get as many as he can in now. Problem is, we're not running any clock. They're going to get the ball right back, and they'll probably get right down the field and score again. Another high kick. We'll get decent field position, but at least they won't return the ball. All right, let's do some one hides. I'm just going to expect them to run the ball. Now watch them start throwing on me. Now that I go cover one. And this ain't good. This ain't good. This ain't good. We'll do another cover one. And I went the wrong way. Dang it. Halfback draw. Hey, good tackle. He really goes down on that first one. All right. It's second and long. I'm guessing they're going to throw. So we're going to take a chance to just do quarters. Nope. They're going to run the ball. All right. Third and long. I'm still going to go cover three cloud. I know they're going with a bigger set. At this point, I don't care. And, of course, they just run the ball. <laughs> I mean, he's not even an impact player, and they just like, screw it. We're just going to run, 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 and run some more. It is, I mean, that's my fault, I guess, for thinking it, they was going to throw. Another run play. There we go. I'm afraid to do this. We'll go with a 4-3. And a first down. Just way too easy. I mean, we just have nobody on defense. That's why you got to do whatever it takes to run the clock. To give yourself a chance in these games. Otherwise, you're just going to be hurting. And that's probably uh, as close to a face mask. Here we go. Another jumbo formation. Oh, 
Ooh. It's good defense. I thought he was going to catch it there. So it's third and seven for doing that. Okay, we're going to take a chance to go cover three clad. I'm hoping they throw the ball. If I was them, I would run it. Sack! Ah! I stood with it. So we're going to let that clock do its thing. We're going to let him celebrate. No, we don't want a flag. I forgot about that. He could get a flag. If... So we're going to run the same thing. Might as well. I mean, that's our best third and long play. He's got all day to throw. All day to throw. And he got out of bounds. Oh, wow. He didn't get it. Let's go back and look at that. You don't have to worry about challenging the player or nothing like that in this game. How close was that? Oh, let's look at this. He was out. No, he was clearly out of bounds. Whoo! Okay, now they got all three timeouts, so we got to run the ball. There's no other way around it. We can't take a knee, so they're going to call their timeouts here. So they're, let's just run the ball and hope we don't get any turnovers. That's a face mask. Thank you. I thought it looked like a face mask. Yes. First and five. Now, does that mean the clock? Okay, no, the clock was still going to run. So now first and five. We're going to do offensive line. We'll let him run the ball again. Ooh, I, dang it. We're still on the right hash. I, did, I thought it was going to be in the middle of the field. That's okay. So the clock has stopped. And that should do it. They got one timeout. That should be game. They got one timeout, so that should do it. We're going to take a QB kneel. They'll call another timeout. Then we can kneel out the rest of it. Should. All right. We'll take the win. Hey, it doesn't matter how you win. You just got to get it done. Especially the first few seasons of a dynasty like this. So, ooh, I just now kind of noticed the time. It's going to be kind of weird here. They're going to have time left. Unless I do something crazy on offense, like run around and such. I just now thought about that. They got time left. Uh, we're going to do this. They got time left. It's on the 41. What we're going to do... We're going to run the ball. I'm trying to think of an extended run where we can run out the clock. We're going man here. Two. Uh, there we go. Four, three. It doesn't matter. First down and a flag game over. Good deal. All right. Whew, that was kind of scary. <laughs> I didn't do my math correctly. There's still time left. So interesting. Now, I just went for a play action here. They're going man, what we can try to do. And just get out of bounds and be done with it. All right. Good win. We didn't do much on offense. We... Our special team's done all of it for us, basically. First win at Murray State. One of many, hopefully. Biggers had a humongous game. Didn't even touch the ball on offense. And still ended up with like two scores. If no, he had three. I forgot about that. So let's go to stats and scores. And as you can see here, 
They had way more first downs. They had way more yards offensively. That's like the lowest amount of yards offensively I've had in a game, and I can't tell you how long. We ran the ball pretty well. Like I said, I, I told you at the beginning of the first video, we're going to run the ball a lot just because we've got to run clock and stuff, and that's the easiest way to do it. I thought Eldridge threw the ball pretty well. We could have converted a, thirst down, a, a, thir a first down earlier, and he just kind of overthrew it. But he didn't turn the ball over. We got a couple sacks on him. Neither team had any turnovers. One of them had, we had our fumble. That's our first play of the game. The rest of it was pretty clean. But the biggest thing was kick return yards, punt return yards. Overall, we had a 541 total yards. A lot of penalties today. There was five of them. We can look at the individual stats again. Eldridge, I, he done just fine. I'm more than happy with the way he played. Running the ball, it just kind of worked out that Odom's touched the ball a whole lot more, which I'm fine with. I don't really care who runs at him or Lane. Let's see. Gallishaw had that one run. This must have been the, that last play of the game. I thought I went past the line of scrimmage. Maybe I didn't. Receiving. We have four different people get the touch it, but Gallishaw had the one for a touchdown. The rest of it just, you know... I, we will give it to our tight end in time, trust me. It just wasn't meant to be today. They just threw a lot of zone at us. But uh, it's good to see a little spreading of the wealth here. Okay, I think that is it. So let's get out of here. Now our next game is at Purdue. So no expectations there. What I want to see is more guys get in trouble. So we can bench them for the next two games. Because again, we got Kentucky after that. And... As you can see there, then we got San Jose State. I want to see us a full strength for that game because that's a doable to win. So come on back. My next video will either be a tutorial video or I should get back into my Madden 07 franchise. Again, like we talked about at the beginning, I've been talking about some different things, working on the vision cone and stuff. And I'm looking forward to seeing all that uh, kind of come together. and Hopefully we can get our first win uh, in that franchise. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.